Welcome to The Author's Journey with number one international best-selling author and in-demand publisher, Rebecca Hall Greider. Today, we'll showcase the works of an amazing best-selling author, find out the story behind their book, and explore ways to bring your message powerfully forward. Now, here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you on another episode of The Author's Journey, where we talk with amazing experts and influencers that have become best-selling authors or above, and they come alongside us and share tips and wisdom and insight of what they have learned along the journey, what it's really like, what they've discovered, uh, things that can help you on your journey, and some behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to bring a book forward, to publish a book, to launch a book, to have it become a bestseller. Kind of what does it take, and what is that experience like? So we are just welcome, uh, welcome you and thrilled to have all of you joining us today. I know you're going to enjoy our wonderful guest and her book launch became what I would call a sensation. (laughs) So we're super excited to share about her, have her join with us and some of what that experience was like as her powerful book was so um, deeply and widespread received uh, around the globe. So we're just thrilled and excited to have all of you joining us today. And I want to encourage you to take a moment And take a deep breath. In through the nose, to your toes, out through your mouth, like through a straw. Beautiful. Just taking a moment to become mindfully, fully present. This is a time that you get to slow down a little bit, be open to receive, allow us to pour into you. I invite you to have a paper handy and your favorite writing utensil, whatever that may be, so that you can really take in the information and the insights that are supportive of you. I encourage you to stay present throughout the show, breathing, receiving, using this time to let it pour into you, support you, uplift you on your journey. So welcome, everybody. Let's take another deep breath together. Mind, body, soul, and spirit connected, open, ready to receive. Beautiful. Well, it's my privilege and honor to introduce our guest, Jennifer Huff. She is a number one international bestselling author master guide and lover of life. She made a traumatic and dramatic transition in her 30s from working for a multinational corporation doing forecasting to seeing life. She now travels the world and is a conduit for those who seek to fulfill their purpose with clarity and confidence. She takes a stand for those who want to become unstuck, to be free, expand, and live their life, live your life fully. She uses metaphysical tools to help you lean in, become unstuck, and live a fulfilling and powerful life. Please welcome the amazing Jennifer Huff to the show. Welcome. <laughs> Yay. So <laughs> excited to be here. Thanks for having me, Rebecca. Uh, We are excited to have you joining us. So thank you as well for leaning in. I'm looking forward to the conversation and just warmly welcome you hands raised (laughs) to the stage of our show as we get to feel the same way. (laughs) <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I love it. I love it. And before we get into your amazing book, I wanted to take a moment and just have you share for our listeners that you are new to, that they don't know about you yet. I'd love for you to share a little bit about why this work that you do is personally so important to you. Well, I would say it's personally important to me because I've lived it. Um, I worked for a big multinational, as you said in my bio, um, and got really, really sick. 
and I thought that it was game over for me. Um, I didn't realize that I was sick because I was on the wrong track in life, although society told me that I should, you know, work for a multinational and get benefits and do all the things that uh, that I needed to do. But the fun thing is in our work, it looks at the body um, and life signals that let you know that you're off track. And mm-hmm. I had no clue that I was so off track and very grateful for the journey, even though it wasn't always pretty. So helping other people to be able to uh, find their own way back home to the reason they were born is is what makes this work so meaningful for me. Mm. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. And I, I have a question um, about what you shared. It's just, it really struck me. Sure. <laughs> so I, I hope that's okay that I ask. So absolutely. I, I, yeah, you mentioned that you got really sick and kind of thought it was game over. And part of your work is helping people read some of those signals and pay attention to the information that they're getting and that you originally didn't see it. And I thought there Mm -hmm. might be listeners out there that are going, yeah, I'm getting sick a lot or I'm feeling tired. I'm exhausted. They don't know what to pay attention to or how to even discover they might be stuck or, Um, perhaps could adjust course. Do you mind expanding on that a little bit? Sure. I think that people, um, I think that often out there, we're told that we can just medicate symptoms away. Not that, you know, we're not making medication wrong, certainly not. Um, uh, At one point, medication saved me from just debilitating migraines. However, you know, (laughs) Migraines are not curable by anti-inflammatories. They just get rid of the symptoms. And so because of our assumption that um, it's okay and you can just medicate those things away, um, and we've been trained to think that way, we don't even question what's happening to us when, uh, you know, understanding what I understand about physics, which is part of what the book book is about, Mm-hmm. You know, life is communing with us all the time through our cells, and our cells are communicating back to us. Their cells are our greatest guide, are communicating back to us as to whether or not we're on track with the reason we came to the planet, and mm-hmm. all of the misalignment shows up in symptoms. So the cool thing is, is that, you know, we're, we've always got an aspect of us that has our back. Yes. But we don't listen to it. Basically, we put a happy face on the empty gas tank, right? So, mm. um, <laughs> and and truly, we have the capacity to transcend needing even to get the symptoms. We just need to learn how to understand. We just need to understand the language, the language that our body speaks. And, um, I mean, that's part of our work. But um, mm-hmm. for me, it was about migraines, depression, headaches. Um, chronic yeast infections. I had so much stuff going on with me. It was like I was getting the t- cosmic two by four. And we would, we don't mm. have, like. I, I now help people not get to the cosmic two by four phase, but uh, but it's also about if you're in the cosmic two by four, how do you unpack those symptoms so you really understand what your body's telling you? And if you do, if you do understand what your body's telling you. And what happens is the symptoms start to dissipate as a result mm. because they're no longer necessary. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, because you're listening, hearing, processing, and yep. adjusting. That, yeah, that, that That's makes That's exactly, sense. exactly it. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I, I appreciate that because I just hear in conversations every day things that people are struggling with kind of chronically like that. And mm-hmm. for us to maybe shift our perspective a little bit on me that's information that our cells are sharing with us that um, we can listen to that we can um, actually start to process and shift and um, it doesn't have to be that that's how life is so I I appreciate that 
about the work that you do. So thank you so much. We are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And I want you to think about some of what Jennifer has said. And I think this is a great moment to just feel in. It's a good check every once in a while to just see if there's something your body is sharing with you, your cells are sharing with you that, um, they would like you to be aware of. I think it's a great moment to just kind of feel in, enjoy these two minutes, and we'll look forward to continuing our conversation in just a moment. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you heard something, maybe a a reminder, insight, or maybe you felt something or sensed something when you took a moment to ask and and feel in. And behind the scenes, I, I checked with Jennifer to see if she could give us a little bit of direction if we did hear something, discover something, feel something. Um, so we have some direction of what we can do with that awareness. So Jennifer, I'm handing the floor mm-hmm. over. What can we do with this information we've discovered? Well, let's say that, that we, so for instance, um, Right now, if we all just did a scan of our bodies, there's probably a place that you just take it for granted. Like, oh, my knees hurt, but my, my knee hurts, but my knees didn't hurt for years. And uh, or we look at our neck as like shoulder tightness. Yeah, I go to my massage therapist for that. And when we say things like I go to my massage therapist for that, and it goes away, but then it comes back. What we're looking at is a chronic problem that's really communication where we're being incongruent with the reason we were born, right? Mm. And so the body is nonstop talking to us. So what you want to do when you feel what I'm going to call it is contraction, right? There's Mm -hmm. a lack of circulation of goodness in there. So if we look at that contraction and we understand that epigenetics is at play um, uh, and biomechanics are at play, The only reason why we'd have tension or why we'd have some chronic problem is because there's a communication or a dance that with life that's out of sync with the way life is trying to direct us. And so, for instance, if I go back to, so the question is, the question you want to ask that symptom is, what do you have to tell me? What do you have Mm -hmm. to say to me? What do you have to tell me? What is there to share right now? And inevitably, if we just actually close our eyes and breathe into it and take our consciousness to that area, there'll be a word or two, nothing fancy, you don't have to hear a voice from God, or the clouds don't have to part and the angels don't have to come out the opening. (laughs) We really can simply close our eyes and hear a word or two. And slowly breathe your eyes open and just write down the words that come to mind and ask, what do you mean to you? Now, you have to be willing to be a little bit courageous because what you, the word that might come might be, might be deep. And it might be asking you to go places where you haven't gone, gone for a long time. So, so Mm. be be very aware of what's coming forward because your cells are actually connected to um, what some might call greater wisdom. But for me, mm-hmm. it's much more scientific. They're connected to the, the, the world of physics, where physics is actually giving you um, the realms of photon packages of light are communicating to your cells, giving you um, information about what it's all about. And, and you'll be able to get it. Everyone will be able to get it. Once you get the message, though, it's having yourself translate that, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, 
thank you for sharing. I, I appreciate it. I didn't want us to have this awareness and then now what? <laughs> so I, <appreciate laughs> I totally get it. Giving totally us totally get it. Yeah, some some direction. Um, so that we can we can move forward in that and we can expand and and um, ease ease some of that. I, I appreciate it. And this to me ties right into your book and and what it's about and how it can help us move forward powerfully. So the book is titled Unstuck, The Physics of Getting Out of Your Own Way. So I hope listeners see how this all ties together (laughs) beautifully and powerfully. And I'd love for you Mm -hmm. to share a little bit of why you wanted to bring this book forward and what helped you quote unquote get unstuck because it it takes something to go from idea I'd like to share this with the world in this format to actually doing it and bringing forward so do you mind sharing a little bit of why and what helped you bring it from idea to reality um sure and the and the long and the short story of it is when I was actually uh, living on my sailboat while working corporately, um, I lived on my sailboat and I got really sick. So ultimately what happened was that I got, I went from being an economist to actually being a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. And as a nutritionist, I started to, I'm always so curious, but one day I had this little voice say, you know, these chronic migraines and all this stuff you're working on is is not something like you can go to the doctors, but you've been auto and you've been actually toxic from exposure from being on your boat. Mm. And I thought, well, doctors don't really address that. So I had to go down the road of how do we get rid of this? And the first place I went because I was kind of very left brain back then was nutrition. So. Mm-hmm. I cleansed, I did all those things, and I got about two-thirds better, but I just had this feeling inside, and it was a real knowing, and I'm sure I will have had that sense. I'm sure you've had that sense, actually, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. I'm just knowing that something else is possible, and that the instant that I knew it was possible, I started looking at epigenetics and psychoneuroimmunology, and that's what got me the other third better, and I realized that at the core of everyone's health issue was that. So how Mm -hmm. it translated to a book is I was teaching programs, and the programs that I was teaching really did a step-by-step-by-step of how to get your, at first I thought it was my body in alignment, but then I realized as I was working with tens of thousands of clients around the world, it was my whole life that started to get into alignment just because I started listening not just to my body, but then I started to listen to even what was happening in my life, the places where there was expansion or contraction. So one of those areas was in writing the book. Mm. I thought to myself, gee whiz. Right? Because what happened, I'm not a writer. (laughs) I'm a speaker. I'm a course deliverer. (laughs) Right? And so, I mean, it was a little bit, it was a little bit uh, difficult to think about writing a book. So, um, even the pathway to writing the book, my husband is a writer. So he took my program and he actually translated it into English. <laughs> it wasn't in English, but it was in Jennifer E's, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And um, before long, what happened was my working copy was from the uh, translation of my husband of our work. And then I went from there. That actually made it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. So you found a way, the right way forward for you, and you were open to that and kind of followed that path. Um, So that's that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And I could see that being a slightly different journey for everyone. So I love that you... Um, felt that expansion and and found a way and a translator, so to speak, to bring your message in the format and way it was the information into yeah. a format that that could be received in in a book format and and shared with the world. Was there anything that surprised you on that journey as you went along and and became a published author? <laughs> was there a, any surprises along the way? say there were a couple of surprises. I was actually really grateful for you, Rebecca, and Mm. you assisting us because one of the awarenesses is how 
finicky some of the technical pieces can be, like in the background. Mm -hmm. Um, And and the pre-thought that goes into putting your book out into the world um, around uh, the everything, everything from, you know, ISBN numbers to just it's very finicky. It's a lot more finicky than I thought it would be, you know, all these little Mm -hmm. nuances. So that was one thing. Uh, another was, well, this is a positive surprise, that I thought the journey was about writing the book, mm. but the biggest thing I got personally, like deep in my tool, was in the end, it was an exercise in receiving so much love from my friends and my family in sharing the book, mm. that it was, an, it was a profound act of re- receiving. It, mm-hmm. it, it took me down a road of that, that I never knew I'd be going on when writing this book. So um, it really opened my heart to see how many people um, were willing to share the book to get it to where it was. And also, yeah. <laughs> that requires asking for help, of course. Mm-hmm. So that was the other piece. A lot of asking for help happened in this particular journey. And so, yeah, it, uh, yeah, both parts of that receiving were profound for me, both the asking and the having to open my heart up big enough to go, okay, thank you, my gosh. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) and receive and hold all of that and Uh feel all of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It was a lot. Oh, well, thank you for, for sharing. I'm going to give just a little snapshot to our listeners. So those who haven't followed <laughs> the journey and the uh-huh. sensation of your book, it became a number one international bestseller. It hit number one status in seven countries and mm. 97 bestselling categories. 36 of them ranking number one. So congratulations again on your powerful success. And to me, that's the beginning. And what an amazing start (laughs) to the release of the book, to hearts and lives touched and sharing it out. And I have seen the reviews pouring in from different countries and beautiful Mm comments and um, great ratings, which we always like to, you know, on the book and how it touched their lives and how they received. And I predict that that will continue because it's a ripple. And and this is the, the center and the beginning. And I'm just, I, I celebrate that for you. I'm excited. To me, it's such a Thank huge you. confirmation. You're welcome. It's such a huge confirmation that that leaning in and following that expansion that you were led to bring the book forward, that people were waiting for it, needing it, wanting it, and it is serving their heart, their spirit, and their life. So again, thank you for um, bringing it all the way forward and holding that space for everyone. Uh, I so appreciate your sweet words. You know, I, I, I just... All I feel is gratitude, and uh, people are reaching out to me and texting me and emailing me, and it really is it really is something else. So, yeah, I, I'm still surprised, actually. I think I'm still shifting from all of the blessings and conversation and realizing uh, the impact of being a number one best-selling author. The other thing I was surprised at, actually, I should share this, too, sure. is that... Um, People with radio shows and podcasts um, just are automatically reaching out to me because mm-hmm. of how much the book got shared. They yeah. didn't realize it was, you know, these are people that I didn't even know that I didn't know. And they're reaching out and saying, hey, we don't know you, but that book sounds really good. We'd love to be able to have you, mm. et cetera, et cetera. So, so, you know, these beautiful, gorgeous side effects, right? Exactly. Exactly. And, and I love that. That's such a great indicator. So that start is it's, it's rippling out and more and more people see it and they see the buzz and they see the sensation. It draws more and more in, like it just creates <laughs> this beautiful um, experience uh-huh. and way of, of reaching people and congratulations. I'm, I'm so glad that 
you are getting that and you're getting all of those additional places and platforms to share your message. So it just continues <laughs> in your work and um, your gifts with the world. I, it synergistically works together so beautifully. And I wanted mm. to take a moment because there, your book is so powerful. It was, it was and is being so powerfully received. And I feel like it's all these pieces coming together. And one of them that's really important just from a, a book marketing and positioning perspective is the cover, the design, the energy, the feel. And your cover is gorgeous, has a really powerful energy. And I'd love for you to share a little bit about how this cover came to be and if you could describe it for any of our listeners today who don't have your book yet and we'll let them know how to find it towards the end of the show uh, but would you describe it to us and how it came to be and why it's designed the way it is sure well first and foremost uh, Daniel Holloman did that design and I want to give him props he he did not do the design for our book cover mm. so um, he he did it because it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just an artist, uh, and I didn't know him. I didn't know him before. So, of course, everything that I teach is around everything coming to you and receptivity. So, of course, my lesson would be around, you know, mastering receptivity. And one of the things that happened in that realm, in that realm of becoming a master receiver, is that we the, the logo for my company is a vesica Pisces. And if people don't know sacred geometry, a vesica Pisces is basically um, where two circles come together. There's a place where they intersect. It creates kind of um, an oval, you know, ish mm-hmm. kind of shape. And uh, in mathematical terms, in um, let's say sacred geometry terms, that's known as the womb where everything is birthed. You know, when mm-hmm. two come together and where they cross over is literally where we have babies, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know, that was our logo. We were online looking for um, book covers that would be radiant and beautiful and really emanate that that vibe, that that juju, you know. Mm-hmm. And, um, and as we were looking at uh, different versions of Vesica Pisces, um, all of a sudden, this image, we were just in Google Images where you can buy images. We, we bought this image from him. Mm-hmm. Um, and as we were in the images, um, lo and behold, this was not a Vesica Pisces image. It, a Vesica Pisces was sort of attached to the image, but the image mm-hmm. that caught my attention was, was this powerful, explosive, just wicked love energy with the heart at the center was so glowing and and uh, universal, and I just knew that m- my whole team just went, wow. Mm-hmm. So I had my entire team actually vote on which image we would use, and it was unanimous, mm-hmm. unanimously Daniel Holloman's image. So that's how we came to it, and then we mm-hmm. negotiated a price for the image with Daniel, and then lo and behold, that is the one that we use. And it's funny that we're we're speaking about this because I've been having conversations with Daniel lately. So how fun is that? Oh, see, I love that. <laughs> it yeah. all connects. It all connects. Uh, but I love that you found something that had that energy that you had an idea of what you were looking for and went on that, on that search and you had um, a great team as well so that you could all feel in and knew very quickly when that was it (laughs) and, and brought Mm -hmm. that forward and honored that, that it captured the right energy and vibrancy that um, you wanted to convey and is held within the book. So really, really powerful. And I was just thinking for any of our listeners that are out there thinking about covers, um, covers are really important. It's the first touch that someone sees and you want to make sure to, to not settle, really kind of find that right image, that right um, energy to capture and represent and build that bridge to your readers. So something to do some searches on, really find and um, feel into that right fit. That's not something to just kind of throw together. So I love <laughs> that you uh, felt in 
and and found that amazing fit. And I can't wait to see what comes with those conversations too <laughs> that may further um, be created and, and come forward. So that's beautiful. Well, we are getting yeah. ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do that, listeners, I want you to think about some of what Jennifer has shared and some of those surprises and things she discovered. And we will continue our conversation in just a moment. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed processing and taking in all the beautiful insights and information that Jennifer has shared with us in the journey and thoughts about the cover and things that surprised her. And I love the how she's so great at following where she's being led and discovering and allowing all those things to come together. And that powerful experience of asking for help and receiving so powerfully, deeply, and and abundantly. Um, what an amazing experience and gift. And I wanted to to take a moment as we're reflecting back on our conversation, is there any final piece of advice or tip that you could share with our listeners who are perhaps thinking about bringing their book forward? Yes, there are three things that I can think of. The first mm-hmm. one is make sure you're working with your editor from the beginning. <laughs> Great um, advice. So, yeah. Don't wait. Work with an editor um, and a book writing coach from the beginning, even if you've written a book before. It's so helpful. Um, Yeah, the second is, because it'll save you a lot of trouble in the end, Mm -hmm. um, which we we didn't have trouble, but it was was so much work, and it was very intense at the end um, because we missed some things at the beginning. The second thing is have a working title, but don't be attached to it because something else might appear. Unstuck is nothing like the title that I had originally created. So, Mm. uh, and it was perfect. It was just perfect. I love it. Um, And the third piece of advice is have a plan going forward for how you're going to leverage that book. Um, whether it's with speaking or TED Talks or a business or coaching or whatever it is, have that plan uh, be unfolding as you're creating the book because that book is just the beginning of someone's journey with you. And to be able to have a pathway for people to be able to work with you you know, I'm very clear on why I'm on the planet. It's to help people that feel that sense of urgency inside that there's something more to life. And they get that very clearly when they go to our pages and listen to the chapter one reading that I did. And, um, you know, they, they get all these bonus materials. It's very clear what it is that, uh, that we're up to. So those are the three pieces of advice that I would give that they're planning that concurrently while they're doing the book. Yeah, I love that planning and implementing it as also what I'm hearing <laughs> as, as you're sharing mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And I love how you said that, that this is their first, this is the beginning of the journey for that reader with you, um, the author. Mm-hmm. And so having a path, having steps they can take is, is really important. Um, and they don't get it by osmosis and guessing. <laughs> you want to make it what? clear. No. <laughs> <laughs> so right. I, I love they don't. that. Yeah. Great, great advice. And I speaking 
of, of that, there are a couple of things I'd love for you to share with us. So sure. okay. one, we've been talking so much about your beautiful book. I'd love for you to share where people can find it. What's the best way to, to get a copy of your book? The best way to get a copy of the book, because it could be for someone anywhere in the world, is to go to thewideawakening.com forward slash unstuck. That's it. And you'll get directed to the right country where you live, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah, something that you helped us with, as a matter of fact. So, uh, yeah, so that's how you can get a copy of the book Unstuck. And then you'll get the resource materials and all the support materials in the playbook, which is sort of like a workbook for doing the exercises. Yeah. Beautiful. Can you give us the link one more time just in case someone got half of it? I want to make sure they got it all. Sure. The Wide Awakening, the wideawakening.com forward slash unstuck. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. And then speaking about, so I love that there's all those goodies they can tap into in the playbook and support. Um, are there mm-hmm. upcoming projects or things that you want to share with us about today? Gosh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> coming up as one of the as one of the resources, um, resource materials will be a recording of something called human superpowers. That we all have multi-dimensional superpowers, superpowers that sort of transcend hard work and struggle in reality. We all know people that are that, that seem to have some kind of congruence or fluidity, or everything is serendipitous. Well, how do you embody that? So there's a program we do called um, Innate Abilities, the Academy of Human Superpowers. So there's a recording of that and the resources. And that is leading to um, our program, Innate Abilities. So, and Innate Abilities can be found in our community. And um, everyone that's listening right now can be a part of our community or get a taste of our community for two weeks. Um, at, at uh, the community is called Agents of Awakening. Mm, and so it's mm-hmm. agentsofawakening.com, and they can come and play there for two weeks and actually come and participate in what we're up to about uh, shifting consciousness, shifting the world, waking people up, and getting us out of this duality and polarity that's happening right now out there. Oh, beautiful. I love that. What a, what a generous gift and opportunity for people to be able to plug in to your community and be part of that and check it out and see if that, that vibe um, fits them and, and matches with them and that support and um, the ability to learn and grow um, with, with all of you. So thank you for sharing. Anything else that you want to share or is on your heart? Yes, one last thing, Mm -hmm. that we truly are all in this together. You know, we we in this world filled with all sorts of contrast and really also media showing us how much contrast there is. People have lost hope. This Mm -hmm. book was created in order to show people how we can change individually and how our individual change actually changes all of humanity, that, that, the, that it's not hopeless, that in fact it can change faster than you think and your own individual life can change faster than you think and, uh, and that it's time. You know, it's, yes. it's really time for us all to do that. So that, that would be my message. There is a way. There's always a way. Mm. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate Mm. that. Listeners, I hope that you drink that in deeply and beautifully. I want to thank you all for joining us today. Jennifer, thank you for taking time. I know it's so busy, especially after launch (laughs) with all Mm -hmm. the momentum (laughs) that gets built. And so we're very honored to have you, uh, the opportunity to interview you both before the launch as it was coming and after. I appreciate the opportunity to do that. And listeners, I want to thank you all for leaning in. I hope you took great notes, have some beautiful insights that you can move forward with. And I want to encourage you to connect in and get your copy of this powerful book.
Facebook and to lean in and check out Jennifer's community, that here's an opportunity to go deeper, get support. And especially if you are looking at bringing your book forward, you're honoring that call, that voice. What a gift to be able to be in a community that can grow with you. Because I can tell you when you or on the journey of bringing a book forward, it is transformational. And what a gift mm-hmm. to have the opportunity to have a gift, a, a community to come alongside you and support you. So I appreciate you making that available, Jennifer. Listeners, I encourage you today to take some time at the end of the show to really feel in, process, and map out a couple of steps you're going to take today to bring your message forward to really look at how you can get support, you can take a step so that you can bring your book, your mission from someday eventually to today. Because if you feel that calling, it's needed now. So I want to encourage you on your journey. I hope you've Mm -hmm. taken some great notes. We look forward to hearing from you and to seeing your beautiful book content and information shine out in the world. Have a great week, everyone. Mm. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you for tuning in to The Author's Journey. Please join Rebecca Hall Greider for another edition of The Author's Journey podcast every Monday on the Voice America Variety Channel. And until we talk again, use some of the tips and inspiration from today's show to guide you as you lean in to bringing your message forward. 